All right, we're here at Debra today, um, and Craig's just going through one of his hive sites here. Uh, so, babe, tell us what's going on with this hive. What's going on with this hive? Well, it's chockers, as you can probably see. Um, this site's just on the edge of Debra, and it's been performing really well all year. It hasn't slowed down yet. There's still tons of fresh nectar coming in. Heaps of brood. There's, they're still, um, they're still laying drone. And what's the date today? The... Mm -hmm. We're in April anyway. We're in April. Mid, mid April. Getting We're in April. Towards mid April. As you can see, the hives are just insanely healthy. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can get to this frame here. Uh, we put drone frames in most of our hi in most of our hives at our bigger sites have got a drone frame in them because we do a lot of splitting which is this guy oh dear god it's stuck in there which is this guy as you can see no slow down on the drones still laying in there Fresh i think this nectar coming in I have a sneaking suspicion this season's going to go right into June. Um, so most, pretty much all these boxes are here. All these hives, we've got two boxes of egg still. Yeah, it's just pumping. It's a good little tip, isn't it? What's that? Leaving your stickies for the bees to climb onto. Yeah. While you're doing other things. I usually put that on a frame and just blow them all out onto the ground, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to lift it up there. Mm, it's pretty heavy, that box. Chocolate's full of honey. Go, we're going. Um, still at Dobra, guys. As you can see, nothing's changed. And what are these boxes, babe? Bit different height. Bit different height. These are our WSPs. I usually keep a heap of WSPs at every site in case we go through a a good chunk of a daft, then we can start swapping some boxes on hives to reduce the space and give them less work to do. Which is what happened here. This was actually a bit weaker earlier on in the year, um, around August last year. So I, I took the full depths off and put WSPs on. And um, yeah, the results are always really good. Same with the ideals or the manlies, which are also yeah, no excluders as you can see in this hive. Um, I find if you just leave them do their thing, they'll put the honey up top and push that brood ball down to the bottom. Brood's up about here at the moment. As we get further into winter, that'll probably go down a bit further. I'll pack more honey in. I'm expecting a bit of a flow over the next few weeks, so we're just getting some space on these boxes today. Have you ordered one? Ordered one. Ordered one at least three weeks ago. Any delays with COVID? No delays. Waddle's just about to start and so will that red ball brush. And that'll fill all this back up again. <laughs> and how's that there? Go. Cool. Uh, these are our new plus box boxes that Livia has always already discussed with you guys. Um, don't have to paint them, no maintenance really at all. A little bit of cleaning every now and then. I believe a 30 year guarantee, somewhere around there. Recycled plastic, fantastic. They do condensate a little bit. Um, this is a standard timber super that I've painted. So we're running a bit of experiment here. This has uh, one Lachine primer on it, watered down a bit so it soaks right in. And then five coats of enamel gloss on top of it. Um, it's a year on, there's, there's no chipping, no wearing. But as you can see by the colour of the paint, it's starting to suck in a bit of atmosphere. It looks silver, but it's actually white. Um, same age, same box. One below. This one here, the green one. But this is the box that I've soaked. Um, I've soaked for 24 hours in, the, in copper nut for now. And, um, and then put four coats of clear on it 
and, and visually it yeah, appears to be weathering a whole lot better than that. But yeah, we'll give no updates as the years one. go by as to what is more effective. No divots in that one at all. No no chips, no nicks. Uh, no weather's gotten into it at all anywhere. I have a feeling this will probably be a 10, 15 year box. And how maybe do you a five do year your, box. How do you do your joins with your paint? How do I do my joins? Yeah, like your dovetails. <laughs> Do you put the paint? Do you put the paint um, bef in the dovetail joins before you screw it together? So this has actually got it's it's copper naphthenate dipped, which goes in to the timber. It's inside the timber, so it's yeah. treated inside but and outside. Do you screw it together before you um, dip it, or once, after? Once it's dipped, it's all screwed together. Right. Okay. Um, but. If you screw this together then dip it, you're going to get the same result. It actually soaks into the timber. Right, pines, pines mm -hmm. very porous. It, it sucks a lot of timber, a lot of moisture. Um, but this has, on top of that, you can see the colours a bit weird because it gets two coats of of a really watery stain on it, and that actually sucks in, absorbs into the timber as well, and just closes all those fibres up, stops the moisture getting in, and then it gets the, the two coats of sealer over it, a total of four coats. Okay, and why do you water down your undercoat? Absorbs better. Your primer. Mm. It absorbs into the timber better. Is that a pine thing or just wood in general? Uh, it's it's a timber thing in general, but more more absorption in, in the in the pine. Mm. It's a softer timber, and it's got a straighter grain, so it wicks water wicks. in. Right. Wick is the word of the week. Okay, well spoken like a true carpenter. And as you can see, another Debra hive. <laughs> Spewing honey out everywhere, as always. Yeah, we'll probably get five boxes today. What is going on here? Boys, boys, boys. They're very full super. Knees, knees. You're covered in honey. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Are we videoing again? Still at Debra. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Still looking at, where's my blow? going to use a blower, make sure it's electric, not petrol. Yeah, a lot of the petrol blowers, the exhaust actually goes down the blowy outlet. Mm. It doesn't come out the side of the motor or anything like that. The okay. exhaust comes in here and blows out the front. Not ideal. So you don't want to see how two poison with these. Not cool. Hang on, I'll just press stop. Oh, this is another brand new. Oh, ripped down the side. Mm. Hopefully we can get some brood in the top. No queen excluder. Mm. Okay. Show so frame. Tell us, da, 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 da. tell us why, well what is, what is a show frame? Tell us what a show frame is. Show frame is a frame, even wax cappings. No bumps, no, no lumps, lumps. No holes. No holes. Most of it's No dribbles. Full. And. Right to the edge. So a couple of tiny holes around the edge, but it's even and it's even colour. Not your best one, but it's pretty good. See, so you got a bit bumpy at the bottom. They've done that, not Craig. Um, but you get marked down on that. And that baby would go in a glass display case um, and entered 
into your local show. Yep. Hmm. Okay, babe. Hang on. Boy. Hmm. He's not even there. He's above. George. 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 Um, so, I mean, it's mid-April-ish. It is, it's very much ish, mid-April-ish. And um, the big decisions, I suppose, is preparing for winter. So, to space or not to space, does, does this particular hive need space or do they need, what do they need, babe? Um, everyone does this differently, but in my opinion, um, we tell everyone the same thing, which is it's our job to be here for the bees' needs, and all our beekeeping <laughs> happens <laughs> happens in that that nest. So I have I have I have many responsibilities. One of them, one of them is to. George. New George, stick insect George. Uh, one of them is just to make sure the queen's got space to lay, and the bigger part of that responsibility is to make sure she doesn't have too much space. So, okay. So what have you done? So what here? we're doing here today, we've probably got half a ton of honey on these hives here. Um, we're just taking a few frames out of every hive because I know at some point soon we are going to run out of flow, and when it gets cold, we don't want lots of space in these hives. So all this you can see, burkham everywhere, honey everywhere. A lot of it's just going to get left on for winter. We leave that in the lids for um, insulation through winter and also stores as well. Now, all this stuff, just leave it all on. So you have taken a bit of honey. Yeah, we've only got two boxes on this hive, so we've removed about five frames. Um, it's not going to affect the volume of stores they have. I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's been raining for two weeks, so I've eaten all the honey out of the hive. Um, I, and I'm sure 90% of other beekeepers have never seen bees really eat their uncapped honey. I think that's a bit of a myth. They'll eat all their uncapped honey, but they don't usually, usually go into their capped stores. Yeah, they don't. Because um, even when it's raining, there'll be bees out foraging, and they'll be bringing back bits and pieces. So we're just trying to make sure that they've got, there's going to be about three, four frames of, of space in there. Um, so I'll be putting stickies back in, but I will be putting in a couple of foundations because, as mentioned, we are expecting a few things to take off here in the next couple of weeks. And then um, I'll slow them down a bit, but that, that, it's only because Craig has seen them with fresh wax in the hive. Yeah, there's if four he, hives here that they're still building, like Libby's saying, sorry Libby. If he hadn't seen fresh wax, like evidence of fresh wax, being built, he wouldn't be putting foundation in because they just won't build it out, even if they're bringing fresh nectar in. Yeah, a lot of people don't realise that the bees will not build wax if there's not a pretty strong flow on in the trees. So yeah. there's a whole whole portion of the year where nothing's going to happen in this hive mechanically because they're, they're not going to be building wax. Um, so it's a bad time to be rearing nukes, trying to expand nukes into 10 frames. All you're going to do is get yourself into trouble. Um, it weakens so, the hive. And that's exactly what we're doing today. You can imagine these being nukes, we're trying not to give them too much space. So but they, they just get... need a little bit. Yes, yeah, so they don't Definitely. have too much work to do. They can just cruise into winter and through winter with their stores. We've seen lots of fresh nectar in the frames here today, so they're still bringing a fair bit in. Um, yeah, all good. This is why you need so many legs. So you can really scratch all the bits at the back. Right, ready to look. Okay, just very busy right now. Oop. Test the wings. A bit more scratching. Getting any of that pollen. It's stuck in the furry bits down yeah. onto the legs. It's a big job being a bee. <laughs> <laughs> 